not there is no one like you. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Let God hear your amen. Let your amen sound like thunder. Lift up your voice to him and say, My father, my father. This morning, speak to me. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. This morning, my Father, have I God speak to me? I have come into your presence this morning. Speak to me. Speak to me. There's any spirit contrary to your spirit. That follow me down here this morning, oh Lord, deal with it. Speak to me, my father. Speak to me, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you can hear me, we are going to pray prayer now. Hallelujah. The ordination you are about to receive, it will not turn you to mad person. Yeah. You know some people, they love you for it. By the time they receive it, it will turn them to mad person. But some people, God single them out. God has decided to use them for his glory. I believe you are one of those people. It is God who has singled you out, out of many people in your parish, to use you for his glory. So lift up your voice on the Almighty God and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this ordination I'm going to get this time. Let it draw me more closer to your side. Open your mouth and talk to God. Very, very important. For people who have that ordination, they will drop it somewhere else and begin to do something else. That will not be your portion. Your own ordination that you are about to receive will draw you closer to his side on daily basis. It will keep you on fire for the Lord. You will remain a vessel to honor in his hands forever. Talk to him, talk to him. He answers prayers. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So, Father, we want to say thank you. We give you all the glory and honor because you are the Almighty. All power belongs to you. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful day. It is a day that you have made. And thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the 70 annual convention of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Thank you because all of us will like to witness this great occasion. Father, we want to say accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. And thank you, Lord God Almighty, for all these your children that are going to be ordained this year of perfect jubilee. Deacon, deaconess, assistant pastors, pastors. My Lord and my God. In your name, this morning, speak to our hearts. Challenge us, O oh Lord. And Lord God Almighty, even the ordination that your children are about to receive through this convention, let it draw them closer to your side. We give you praise, O oh Lord. And in your kingdom, I pray that none of us will miss the rapture. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now the champion will say louder, Amen. If you believe that this is your season, shout hallelujah. Please be seated. I want to appreciate God in the life of our Daddy for giving me this opportunity to stand and minister to the people of God. Thank you very much, sir. Hallelujah. In the next few minutes, I want to encourage you to tell you that it is your time. That is what God said I should tell you. It is your time. Nobody can stop it. Come on, say it is my time. To read from that popular passage that our daddy read unto us Jeremiah chapter 29 verse, verse 10 and 11 Jeremiah 29 verse 10 and 11 for thus saith the Lord that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you. God will visit you. I know some of you, you have not attended minister's meeting since it started. You came last night. So you better say amen to this. God is talking. Say, he will, I will visit you yeah. and perform my good word towards you yeah. in causing you to return to this place. And verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, say the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. It is your time to receive the best from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, when God speaks, it is so. Bible says, forever over the world is settled where? God knows that this year. Yeah. But because it is your time, God frustrated the plan of the wicked. Can you say thank you, Jesus? And because God is not a liar, what he says is what he will do. And concerning you, and because it is your time, you will be free from all your problems. Amen. I know some of you, you have a lot of problem at home, but as God lives. By the time you receive the anointing, you have been ordained, that problem will disappear. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, there are some of you seated. You struggle to be here this morning because you have one ailment in your body. It is your time to be here. 
He sent his word and healed them. He delivered them from all their destruction. And as you are hearing the word of God this morning, that word will heal you. Let God hear your amen. Because it is your time. Nobody can stop it. Nobody. I remember when I, when God looked at me and said, Oh, it is your time to be ordained as full pastor. Close to 30 years now. I look at myself and say, Me, God, why me? I say, It is your time. Because I'm taking you higher. Because I have an assignment for you. You will buy, you will lose. You will bring joy into my kingdom. And I did not regret it that God anointed me to be his minister. I pray for somebody here this morning. God will not regret of being anoint you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is your time. In the book of Psalm 102. Let me read that one quickly. Because it is doing me one time. And as some of you seated here this morning, you will catch fire. Yeah. I caught fire many years ago and the fire is still burning. The fire you are catching today will burn in your life forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 102 verse 13. Psalm 102 verse 13. The Bible says, Thou shall arise. And have mercy of Hosea. For the time to favor her. Don't forget to it is your time. The time of jubilee is the time of favor. And to be favor and go. No, I find your ordination, I find your ordination. Right and left center, you will be favored. Yeah. Where they don't want to see you before, they will look for you. Yeah. The door that you have been knocking that refuse to open. After your ordination, that door will open on their own at all. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, he will have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, the third time is come. Hallelujah. The third time has come. You have to rejoice. Pastor Jubilee. That is our team for the convention. Jubilation. Celebration. Because we are going to be free. Free from sin. Free from demon, free from power of darkness, free from fear, free from poverty, free from lack of job, lack of husband and wife, lack of children.
for good. <laughs> and those of you who are six, I mean, from picking the killers to assistant pastor, your memory your, your, your is about to change. For good. And those of you that are about to be your name from assistant pastor to pastor, your memory is about to change. For good. So, God said, it is your time. And I don't know the kind of thing you want from him. I remember that our daddy, Daddy Gio, told all of us. He said he went to travel out for a conference. And uh, the man of God there uh, asked them to the people that follow our daddy that everybody should ask whatever they want from him. And, it's, and so, and the man of God there uh, asked his secretary, go and go and take the order, whatever they want, write it. Give it to them, no. That is said, this one said, oh, I need permission to send your book in Nigeria. Yes. The man of God said, search you. Hey, this one, I need your permission to be sending your tickets. Oh, search you. All of them, they just want things of the flesh. But that is how when you come to a place that I What is in you, God? That is what I want. That thing in you that makes you to be doing all these miracles. I think in the church of the that man of God, like they said on Sunday about how many services. And the man of God has to beg the congregation to come next Sunday. So that the people that are not opportune to come to this week, they will come next. But that is said, what makes you who you are? I want it. And only that day that that man of God attended to in his office. So wait, when they finish with others, we are coming. So the man of God made sense on him. He got what he wanted. No wonder Papa is still firing on. After this ordination, you will keep on firing on. Yeah. I don't hear your amen. Yeah. So it is your turn. What is your hunger for this ordination? Do you want people to see or begin to say? When you get home now, you, you don't know that I'm, I am now a deacon decadent. You have to respect me. I am now an assistant pastor. If you say rubbish, I will discipline you. Ah, I am now a full pastor. You better behave yourself. I can write your paper to the Jew. Hey, is that what you want? Go to receive the ordination so that you can oppress the member of the church. No way. It is your season of jubilee, celebration, freedom, to serve God, to please God, to obey God. So this morning, I want to encourage you, my dear. Between now and the day of your own nation, separate yourself. Separate yourself. If you have not been fasting, you better begin to fast. That has been the nails of me, the point of me. God, I want to become a different person entirely. I want the devil to see me and run. I want to carry fire anywhere I go. No 
know this this the, 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 the season we are in. If you are a Christian without fire, you are dumb, you are gone. It is an opportunity for you to catch fire. The disordination you are going to receive. It is your time. Rise on your feet. It is your time. You are going to pray. Go spirit prayer point quickly. Mareke ketanda rimo kotori ya katanda. Mandele mosata ye makuria. There may be one or two people among me for the new. Even though you are going to be a man as a sister, and you are still committing sin. The Bible says sin is a, is a reproach for any man. I will not ask you to come forward. No one to embarrass you. But you know yourself that you are still committing sin. But since this opportunity, it is your time to rededicate your life for God. was asking an assistant pastor in my office, tell me what is the meaning of salvation? He said that if I gave you, and God, I belong to I said, tell me what is salvation? He can't tell me. So this morning, if you know your salvation is not in you, you don't know the meaning of salvation. You say, I've given my life to Christ. The life, the type of life you are still living is not different to the life of Allah outside. Surrender to him this morning. It is your time. It is an opportunity for you. Tell him, Lord, I, I surrender myself to you. From today, please, Save my soul. Has anyone in the house has prayed a prayer in your heart? I promise God that you will live a life of holiness for the rest of your life. So that the anointing you are about to receive your nature, you will keep on flying for the Lord. And the rest of us. I want you to lift up your two hands to the Almighty. The one who has spoken that it is your time. Your time. Nobody can change it. It is your time. Give him thanks. Give him praise. I mean, Lord, I want to say thank you. I want to thank you for loving me so much. Wow! That in, in, in the year, in the year of Jubilee, perfect Jubilee, I'll be redeemed with the sentence of God. I've decided to obey me. It's one of your ministers. If you redeem with the sentence of God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I give you glory, oh God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, my dear daddy. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O God. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want you to join your hands with your neighbor. Rakusha Katayama. Just a few minutes. For me to leave this place now. There are some of you. You are yet to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. My dear. For you to exam, to succeed. In the ministry that God has called you into. You need the Holy Spirit. Flesh cannot do it. 
As you join your hands with your neighbor now, let's flow together. Those of you that have been baptized in the Holy Ghost, let the fire be transferred into the land of everyone. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. And those of you that are yet to be baptized in the Holy Ghost, open wide your heart. Call the name of Jesus. Moving on, come on, again, spirit move, oh, oh, Yeah. 
Look here. And you are saying, Pastor, your member, they are sick. The next thing is to introduce to them my own hospital. No way! That is the second option. Some of you that are standing, any sickness in your body, they are going this way. If Jesus can heal me since 1976 that I joined this church, if he can heal me, I don't go to hospital, I don't take medicine, I don't take injection, I have no doctor than Dr. Jesus since 1976. Because the Bible tells me by his stripes. He can do the same thing for you today. <laughs> so that's your neighbor. Join hands with him or her. Say, Sada! <laughs> Every seed of sickness <laughs> and disease <laughs> that have been planted into the love of this my neighbor. Oh Lord, show yourself. 